Kids Church. Welcome to 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 Kids Church. Here's the lesson! Hi everyone! Hello! Are you out there? Oh, I'm sorry, you can't see me, can you? But you can hear me! Okay, here I am. Seems I was invisible, but you could hear me, and so you knew I was there. I was actually waving to you. You know what? I couldn't see you either, but I know you're there listening. Sometimes we can't really see something, but we know it's there, like the wind. You can't see the wind, but you know it was there. I mean, you saw the stuff blowing. You might think, well, look at the trees and the flowers and the grass. It moves every which way when the wind blows through it. You saw the pages flip. But do you really see the wind? You see its effects, but you don't actually see the wind. And when you're cold and you stand in front of a roaring fire in the fireplace or a campfire, or even in front of the heat register in your house, do you actually see the heat? You know it's there because it fe you can feel it. And yes, you can see the flames, but the heat that comes from it, do you really can't see that. When we breathe or we sing or talk, there again, air is involved to make all of that happen. But we don't see the air. We just know it's there. Just like when Kids Church started today, you could hear me speak, but when you looked at the screen, no one was there, at least not at first. And by the wonderful skills of Mr. Ken and his computer, he made me invisible. And now you can see me. In a way, Jesus is like that because God made it so. In our lesson today, it tells us that the Son of God is the same as God. That's hard to understand. God the Father and God the Son are actually one in the same. No one that any of us knows has ever seen God, but we will one day when we go to heaven and no one has ever seen him here on earth. We all know about Adam and Eve, the first people that God created. We know that though God made them perfect, Evil came into this perfect garden that God gave them, and they disobeyed God, and they fell into sin. And because of that sin, we too, all of us, are sinners, because we are people just like Adam and Eve were, and not like the Creator God. Sin continued to infect the world, and God knew there was only one way to save the people from that sin, and that was His Son, Jesus. So he sent his son, Jesus, like a, as a baby, like all of us were once upon a time. Jesus was actually a person on earth, like you and me. He was born to Mary and Joseph when we celebrate his birthday at Christmas. The Bible says Jesus is the image of the invisible God who we cannot see, but Jesus as a person could be seen. I know, it's hard to understand even for adults like me and your parents and your grandparents. But do you know how we know this is true? We know it through faith and learning God's word. God is invisible, but Jesus was not. He became God in human form and came to earth to save us all from sin, death, and the devil. All of this is difficult for a child to understand. But God says we need to have faith, and faith comes from hearing, and hearing by the word of God. 
In the book of Hebrews in the Bible, chapter 11, it's all about faith. God tells us that faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see or what is invisible. Jesus, as God himself, came to earth to teach us to have that faith. And by that faith, we understand that the world and universe was formed by God's command. That is in Hebrews 11.3. And what we see all around us, the mountains, the sky, the sea, the animals, the birds, all that was formed by God out of nothing that was visible. Jesus came to make sure we believe that through his teachings. And then he made sure we are forgiven for those sins that all of us do by giving up his life for all believers so that we will be in heaven one day with him and God the Father. And yes, we will then see him. Yep, that's our undeserved reward. Pretty sweet, huh? Let's bow our heads and pray. Dear Jesus, because Adam and Eve disobeyed God the Father, there is sin in the world. But God gave us you, Jesus, to become a real person on earth and to teach and preach your holy word in order for us to have faith in you. We cannot see faith, but we know it is there because you placed it in our hearts. Then you took all our sins to the cross and paid our sinful debt so that we can go to heaven one day and be with you and God the Father. We did not see these things happen, but we know that they did because through faith you have placed in our hearts. We believe it. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, Go have a great week and know that God the Father, through our Lord Jesus Christ, is with you, even though you cannot see him. He's there. Bye. Bye. Would you please like our video and subscribe to our channel, because then you are helping us share Jesus. Thank you. Here's the music. Here's the music. Here's the music. <laughs>
Does anybody remember? What was the point of today's Bible lesson? Hmm. Anybody? How about you? Anybody? Oh. <laughs> oh, Pierre. Oh, okay. Pierre, what was the point? Yes, yes, very good, very good, great. The point of today's Bible lesson was Jesus in the flesh was on earth thousands of years ago. He really was here, but not only was he here, while he was here, he saved us by dying on the cross for us. Even us, even now, we are saved as long as we believe in him. And so it's right to say Jesus is God. He is God with us. Wow. Did you know that? <laughs> Here's three days. A reading from the book of Colossians, chapter 1. God made us free from the power of darkness, and he brought us into the kingdom of his dear Son. The Son paid the price to make us free. In him we have forgiveness of our sins. No one can see God, but the Son is exactly like God. He rules over everything that has been made. Through his power all things were made, things in heaven and on earth seen and not seen, all spiritual rulers, lords, powers, and authorities. Everything was made through him and for him. The Son was there before anything was made, and all things continue because of him. He is the head of the body, which is the church. He is the beginning of everything else, and he is the first among all who will be raised from death. So in everything, he is most important. God was pleased for all of himself to live in the Son, and through him, God was happy to bring all things back to himself again, things on earth and things in heaven. God made peace by using the blood sacrifice of his Son on the cross. This is the word of the Lord. God's blessings! God's blessings! God's blessings! God's blessings! God's blessings. Kids, church.